Hi, my name is Mike Searle. I'm a PA with vascular and interventional radiology out of Pinehurst, North Carolina. With an Aspira drainage catheter, the quality of life can be greatly improved. You may be able to return to the many daily activities that you haven't been able to do. It allows you to have control over relieving your symptoms. You can drain when you want to drain, when it's convenient for you. It's wonderful to see patients off oxygen and say, I can breathe again. As a patient, you may have been through surgery. You may have been through chemotherapy. You've likely spent many, many days in the hospital. You deserve to have something that allows you to be out of the hospital. You deserve one more chance to go home. The Aspira drainage catheter is placed in the abdomen to drain fluid from the peritoneal cavity or the lower chest to drain fluid from around your lungs. After placement, you may have a few stitches at the insertion site and at the exit site. The Aspira drainage catheter enables you to drain fluid in the convenience of your home. This will help you relieve or reduce shortness of breath or other symptoms. The Aspira drainage catheter is a soft silicone tube. This tube has lots of holes on one end. This end was placed inside your body. The fluid enters these holes and flows into the catheter. The other end of the catheter has a valve. When you connect the Aspira drainage bag to the catheter, the valve opens. When you squeeze the pump on the Aspira drainage bag, fluid will start to drain from the peritoneal space in your abdomen or the pleural space in your chest and fill the drainage bag. It is important that you know how to drain and care for your catheter. You should have been given personal step-by-step -step instructions by your healthcare provider for this care. This video presentation is designed to help review these steps. Before beginning these instructions, it is important to note the following warnings and precautions. Do not use excessive force on the valve. Excessive force may damage the device or cause the catheter to be accidentally pulled out. Use only the Aspira drainage bag to access the catheter valve. Accessing the catheter valve with anything other than the Aspira drainage bag may damage the valve. There are two ways to drain and dress your catheter with the Aspira dressing kit. If your healthcare provider has instructed you to dress the catheter once a week, you will not need to remove the dressing materials each time you drain. However, if your healthcare provider instructed you to change the dressing each time you drain, then you will need to replace the dressing materials each time you drain fluid. Each time you change the dressing, whether weekly or each time you drain, you will remove and throw away the clear dressing, gauze, and split pad from around the catheter. You will see the instructions for removing and replacing these dressing materials later in the video. Remember, change the dressing materials as instructed by your healthcare provider. To begin the drainage process, you will need the following supplies. The Aspira drainage kit, which includes the drainage bag, the catheter valve cap, an emergency catheter clamp, alcohol pads, and tape. You will also need the Aspira dressing kit. This includes the following, a sterile sheet, sterile gloves, alcohol pads, gauze pads, split gauze pads, clear dressing, and tape. If you have not been instructed to change the dressing with each drainage, you should change the dressing at least once a week. You should also change the dressing if the area under the clear dressing becomes moist. Now, to begin. First, you must prepare a clean workspace. Clear a space on a table or counter for your drainage supplies. Clean the surface with a disinfecting wipe or paper towel that has been moistened with rubbing alcohol. Wipe the surface dry with a fresh paper towel or allow it to air dry. Place the supplies on the cleaned area. Wash your hands with warm soapy water for at least one full minute. Rinse thoroughly. Dry your hands with a clean towel or clean paper towel. At this point, it is time to change the dressing as instructed by your healthcare provider. You will need to carefully remove and throw away the clear dressing, gauze, and split pad. You should also do this if the gauze beneath the clear dressing becomes moist. We'll show you how to replace the dressing materials after you have finished your drainage. If it is not time to change the dressing, leave it in place. Now, remove and discard the catheter valve cap from the catheter valve. Remember, do not use scissors or any sharp objects that may damage the catheter. If the catheter is damaged, place the green emergency slide clamp between the catheter damage and the exit site and contact your healthcare provider. If you are changing the dressing, please look at the exit site and skin around it. If you notice anything odd, such as redness, swelling, or oozing at the exit site, finish the drainage procedure and then call your healthcare provider. After you have removed the valve cap, open the drainage kit pouch. 
Next, wipe the end of the valve with an alcohol pad. Pick up the connection end of the drainage bag and push it onto the end of the catheter until you hear or feel a click. Gently tug on the drainage line to make sure the connection is secure. Place the drainage bag on a hard surface at least arm's length below the catheter exit site. It is important that the bag is placed below your catheter exit site in order for the catheter to drain properly. Gently squeeze the pump one time. It will slowly re-expand as fluid fills the pump. Allow the fluid to drain until the bag is full or the fluid stops flowing. If the pump does not re-expand or re-expands but does not fill with fluid, check the connection. Gently squeeze the pump again. If this does not work, try again with a new drainage bag. If a new drainage bag does not start to flow, call your healthcare provider. If you are experiencing pain during drainage, raise the bag to slow the fluid or disconnect the bag to stop the flow of fluid. To restart the flow of fluid, reconnect the bag to the catheter and squeeze the pump. Note that a kink or loop in the line can stop the flow of fluid early. If this occurs, remove the kink or loop and squeeze the pump again to restart the flow of fluid. Also, do not drain more than 2,000 milliliters during the abdominal drainage or 1,000 milliliters during chest drainage in any one drainage. 1,000 milliliters is one full Aspira drainage bag. If you have any of the following symptoms during your drainage, complete the procedure and contact your healthcare provider. Redness, swelling or oozing around the exit site, shortness of breath that isn't relieved after drainage, Ongoing chest pain or shortness of breath being experienced but little or no fluid is draining from the catheter. Less than 25 to 50 milliliters drained during each drainage for three drainages in a row. The appearance of your fluid changes significantly between drainages. Body temperature above 100.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees centigrade. Or any signs of dizziness, blurred vision, confusion, or feeling faint or weak. When the fluid flow stops or the bag fills to 1,000 milliliters, hold the catheter with one hand and pinch the wings of the connector with the other hand until the bag connector easily comes away from the catheter. Allow any fluid remaining in the tube to drain into the bag and set the bag to the side. Wipe the catheter valve with a new alcohol pad. Place the new valve cap over the top of the catheter valve. If it is not time to change the dressing, tape the catheter to the skin where it is most comfortable for you. If you are replacing the dressing with this drainage, take the following steps to dress your catheter. Peel open the dressing kit pouch. Remove the gloves from the pouch and open the glove package at the cuffed end. Pick up one glove at the cuffed end and place it on your hand. Pick up the second glove with your gloved hand and place it on the other hand. Remember. The gloves and items in the dressing kit are sterile. Do not touch any non-sterile surfaces such as your skin, clothing, or furniture with your gloves. Remove the sterile sheet from the pouch and place it on the prepared workspace. Pull on the corner sticking out of the edge of the sheet to open it. Lay the sheet flat and expose the dressing supplies. Clean the skin around the catheter exit site with an alcohol pad. Make sure the exit site and skin around it are dry before completing the dressing. Place the split gauze pad on the skin under the catheter. Coil the catheter on top of the pad. Place the gauze over the top of the catheter. If you are not changing the dressing with each drainage, leave the catheter straight and place the gauze over the top of the catheter. Hold the gauze, catheter, and split pad in position with one hand. The next step may require the help of a caregiver. Make sure the caregiver washes their hands, scrubbing for one full minute before helping to dress the catheter exit site. Place the clear dressing over the catheter and gauze. Make sure the dressing sticks to the skin around the gauze. Be careful, the clear dressing is very sticky. Smooth down the dressing edges. If you left the catheter straight, tape it to the skin where it is most comfortable for you. 
By tearing or using scissors, cut the corner of the drainage bag where the tear here to empty arrow is pointing. Empty the fluid in the toilet or sink. Flush the toilet or fully rinse the sink. Coil the drainage line around the empty drainage bag. Place it in a small plastic trash bag and throw it away. It is very important to never place the Aspira drainage bag in a recycling bin. Throw all other used supplies in the trash. Let's just take a minute and address some of the most common questions. Can I shower with the catheter? Yes, you may shower, but if the gauze under the dressing becomes wet, you'll need to change the dressing. However, you should not swim or bathe. How often do I drain fluid? As often as your healthcare provider recommends, or as often as needed to relieve your symptoms. How long can the catheter stay in place? As long as needed, unless it becomes infected. How often do I need to change the dressing? At least once a week, or more often if recommended by your healthcare provider, or if your gauze becomes wet. Your aspirin drainage catheter can relieve symptoms associated with fluid buildup in your peritoneal or pleural space. You can expect to experience greater comfort, improved mobility, and better quality of life. If you have any additional questions about the care and use of your Aspira drainage catheter, please talk to your healthcare provider.